Hi everyone, this is Rob de Winter for Creative Pro and this is a sneak peek of my session at Creative Pro Week happening in Washington DC and online on July 8 to 12. In this short sneak peek I'm going to show you how you can create brushes with Photoshop's generative fill. Let's start here in Photoshop with a new empty document with a black background. I first select the brush tool in the toolbar, lower the opacity and start drawing a really simple guideline for the fog brush I'm going to generate with generative fill. I draw here and a little here until I'm happy with the end result. To be able to generate a cloud out of this simple guideline, we first need to create a selection that is 30% transparent. The best way we can do that is to go into quick mask mode. So I first go to this quick mask mode button in the toolbar and fill the entire canvas by going to edit, fill, then choose color and then make sure the brightness is set to 70%. Now click OK, uh, click OK again and exit quick mask mode. Photoshop has now made a selection that has an opacity of about 70% and this ensures that Generative Fill will use about 30% of the underlying layers as a guide for the generated content. Click on the Generative Fill button in the contextual taskbar and type something like MIST. Then click Generate. And let's wait for a few seconds. Great! This is a fantastic base for creating a brush. Now make sure the blacks in this layer are really black by going to Image, Adjustments and then click Levels. Move the black point slider a little to the right and click OK. To be able to create a brush we need to make sure the brush is grey or black. So I'm now going to invert colors by pressing Command I on Mac OS or Ctrl I on Windows. We can now create a brush by going to Edit Define Brush Preset. Give your brush a name, something like Mist Brush Start and click OK. We're now going to change some of the brush settings by going to the Brush Settings panel. First check Shape Dynamics and set the Size Jitter Slider to 100% to make sure that the brush randomly changes the size while drawing. I'm also going to do that with the angle jitter slider to randomly change the cloud angle while I'm drawing. You can also see a preview of your brush down here in the preview field. I also want to scatter the brush a little bit. To do this I'm now checking the scattering checkbox and set scatter to something around 50%. And the last thing I'm going to change is transfer uh, where we can control opacity. When you set the Opacity Jitter slider to 100%, Photoshop will randomly change your brush opacity between 0 and 100%. But if you have a pen tablet, you can also control opacity with pen pressure by setting the control value to pen pressure. That's really cool by the way. We've now completely set our brush. So you can save it by clicking the plus icon uh, here in this brush settings panel and give it a name. I name it Mist Brush. You can now start drawing with your newly created brush by going to a new image or composition and start drawing. I think this always feels like magic. I'm uh, gonna paint a bit here and also a little bit here in this image. And you can also play with the layer opacity to make the fog a, a bit more transparent. I think it's amazing. Uh, and as you can see, this is one way to create fantastic brushes with Photoshop Generative Fill. And much more is possible. If you like this video and want to see more tips and tricks like this, be sure to join my session about creative problem solving with AI in Photoshop at Creative Pro Week on July 8 to 12. I hope to see you there. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.